Uh, we've been able to push back everything that this president's tried to do to take away our Second Amendment rights, and we're not going to stop. Well, here's what our callers see. Uh, they see a president that is uh, opposed to uh, really conservatives all across the board, and we want folks up there fighting him on everything. And there's a view that uh, this bill is just uh, not strong enough in fighting Obamacare because it funds Obamacare. And also this whole issue about executive amnesty. So let's delve into those two things. Yeah, what can we absolutely. do to stop repeal and remove this threat of Obamacare? Because, Steve, I just got my uh, health insurance uh, notice. And my health insurance is going up 300%. And I'm so, not alone. Jeff, I'm not alone. It's, it's real and it's, it's national. I mean, Louisiana has seen about, about over 25% increase mm -hmm. just in the last year. Uh, you know, of course, that was one. I think one of the really big reasons uh, that Mary Landry was defeated because right. she supported Obamacare. She voted was the deciding vote for it. But look, I was there. I was on the committee. It went through uh, back in 2009. And when I first saw the bill, I was opposed to it because what I saw it doing being the government takeover of health care. Uh, but all these mandates and taxes that are going to ultimately devastate what's working, and you're seeing it playing out. Uh, you know, first of all, we had a we, there was a government shutdown last year. Uh, exclusively over Obamacare, and I think everybody remembers that. Right. Uh, I was there then and, and supported every effort we could uh, to not only repeal it, I voted over 40 times to repeal it, but also to defund it. Uh, but so Ted mind, Cruz when, was right on that, wasn't he? When he well, uh, keep in mind, when we had a government shutdown, yeah. you can go back and look, uh, Obamacare was fully funded even during a government shutdown mm -hmm. because it's already a law on the books. Right. You know, if, if, if a government shutdown would have... Re repealed or defunded Obamacare, we would have saw that happen during the government shutdown last year. So how can we finally do that, Steve? How can we finally, really, now that we have a Republican right. so Congress... You've got to repeal it. You've got yeah. to repeal it, but you also, you've got to chip away at every other piece you can. And, Jeff, keep in mind, you know, and look, there's a lot of frustration out there. I've been frustrated uh, since this president came in, and we've right. been battling on every front. But a lot of these things, we've actually been fighting out in the courts, and we've been winning a lot of these battles. And, you know, you don't want to just fight it in the courts. You want to fight it in the courts. You want to fight mm -hmm. it legislatively. Uh, we're going to have a fight with this president in four weeks when we have a Republican Senate. You know, Harry Reid still runs the Senate today. Uh, he does not run the Senate in four weeks. But he, so there's going to be, and look, the here's, funding bill here's what set I, aside mm -hmm. the Department of Homeland Security, which is the agency that oversees right. immigration. Well, everything the president wants to do on illegal amnesty, which, by the way, Jeff, he does not have the legal I agree. To do. I agree. Totally, he wants to do totally unconstitutional. Totally unconstitutional. Right. So when we have a Republican Senate in four weeks, mm -hmm. that fund, that spending bill expires. We're going to actually have a direct fight on immigration to stop the president from trying to do anything else he's going to do, not just legislatively, but also in the All right. Again. Let, let me just so ask look, you. Look at, look at what happened. One to more. Labor relations. Uh -huh. We won that court fight. There's a yeah. big court fight on Obamacare right. that nobody's paying attention to right now, but in the next few months you're going to see it play out at the U.S. Supreme Court. The funding of federal exchanges by the taxpayers. It's Good. illegal. I think it's illegal. The Supreme Court's going to take that up. They've actually heard the case. I think they're going to rule with us on that. If that happens, Jeff, yeah. it completely undermines the law. That's something I've been very actively Good. involved in as advisors. Mm. That will actually, and look, in Louisiana, we don't have a, a state exchange, so we're one of those states where the mm. federal exchange is being subsidized by taxpayers. That ought to end. The Supreme Court's going to be taking that up, and if they end it, all right. We're visiting along. with uh, House Majority Whip uh, Congressman uh, Ski Steve Scalise uh, joining us here on the program. Here's how I view Obamacare, uh, Congressman. It's a, it's a bill that the American people have never supported. It's a bill that was passed in the Senate, I think, uh, illegally. Uh, because when we got Scott Brown elected, we were supposed to stop it, and they still got it through. It's something that the polls show 58% of Americans now want to repeal. Now we've got a Republican Congress. We have to stop this bill. And I really want you and your other members of Congress to do every possible thing to stop this. Uh, I think it's a destruction of our economy. It's destruction of our health care. I, I can't tell you the number of doctors who have told me that they're getting out of the business. I think it is just vile. I think the way it was done was un-American. And I, I just want to see more action on going after Obamacare. And I'm very sorry that it's been funded. Yeah, and look, I want to see a repeal bill on Barack Obama's desk. You know, now what he does with that bill, let's find out. But I think this is going to be the top issue in the 2016 presidential Good. election. Good, Good, it needs to be. and immigration are going to be the top issues because of what this president's doing. But we're going to be having a lot of fights in the meantime. And, and look, all the folks that are frustrated today, I appreciate the frustration. Yeah. But why don't 
why don't we have that same level of activism next month when we have a bill not only passed in the House, but actually on the Senate floor uh, to block the president from doing anything right. he's trying to 